Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now, if you've been watching my channel in like the past five years, you probably saw me at some point in time looking like this with my Oakley Trigger Man sunglasses on my face. Now, I know people have seen it because, well, they've commented a number of times, hey, you're not that personal. You need to take your glasses off when you talk to people so we can see your eyes. Now, seeing as though I'm like 99.5% male viewership on my channel, I don't know necessarily why that matters so much, but if you have come to watch my channel again, you've probably seen me like this. Now, in today's video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lose these sunglasses and we're gonna turn the corner a little bit as we get into these, the split shot. A brand new pair for me. Now, these are by no means a new model, but I am definitely going to get into these and hopefully enjoy them. So when you see me in the future, I will probably look like this. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now again here, the Oakley Split Shot. For me, Oakley is a pretty simple choice where they've always, in my opinion, done some of the best in terms of fit for my face, quality of the lenses, general price and overall quality. I definitely have some qualms, but at the same time, these have typically performed pretty well for me. So with that, let's turn the corner here. We're gonna take a look at these in a little bit of detail, talk about the features and what these will do for me. And so the first thing, well, when it comes to my original Trigger Man here, I have been wearing these literally for like, I would say just about five years, maybe, maybe only four. It's been a long time though. And these are pretty well beat up. So the first thing for me, well, why do I always wear sunglasses? Well, it's, it's twofold. First and foremost, it's eye protection. If you look at Oakley standards, many times they are ballistic rated, but regardless of what pair you get, they're definitely going to help protect your eyes. And with the genre of outdoor gear, outdoor adventures, I do like to protect my eyes, not just from damage from branches. And, you know, I swing a lot of blades and all the chunks of stuff that come flying off. But at that, the sun in the mountains, really eye damage can be not only damaging, but it can just turn to a severe situation. It can be unsafe. It can lead to, you know, big time issues, especially in winter. So eye protection for me is key. But as you take a look, I almost always have polarized lenses. That's another key for me. And as you look at these, they can still look pretty good, but I'm getting some pretty substantial scuffs and damage on each one of the lenses. And well, that's why I turned the corner. So now the split shot. These caught my attention. I had a buddy who was wearing these and they definitely sort of caught my attention for a couple of reasons. Now, the first thing that's got me just a little bit bummed out, but it's not terrible. It's kind of hard to see. The blue on the Trigger Man was so bright. I loved that. It's pretty good here on the split shot. Not quite as bright, but you can see these are the prism lenses and they are polarized. So the prism lenses, and I think the intent of it, I'm certainly not an expert, is that these lenses, both left and right, are kind of cut from the same sort of sheet. So they should be consistent from left eye to right eye. Having the sapphire blue, I love, just gorgeous, looking really, really good. And the fact that these are polarized are going to definitely help me out. So these here are the sapphire blue on a matte black frame. They have the sort of anodized blue Oakley symbols embossed into the side of the stems here. Very nice. And this kind of beckons back in my brain to way back in the day, my cousin got a really nice pair of Bollet sunglasses that had the blue lenses with the uh, matte black frame. And I thought he was so cool. So to have these here, definitely nice. It kind of reminds me of being a little kid looking up at my cousin just with a little bit of I'd say appreciation for sunglasses. 
Now on the inside here, you end up with that traditional sort of Oakley nose piece. This is a little different from some of the other models I've been wearing lately. It is certainly different from the Trigger Man. You'll notice these were more like the bumper style. These are sort of a hybrid, but a little more, I'd say similar to what you used to see on like the M frames, but of course they're just sort of built off the inside of the frame there. So it'll be interesting to see how these hold up over time. On the inside of the stems here, you can see the um, serial number here. So 009416, so the model, and then dash 0664. The only thing I think is a little funny is that serial number is just slightly different from what is on the tag. But at the same time, I believe that everything about these um, proves to me that they are authentic. You do need to be a little bit careful with Oakley these days. There's a lot of knockoffs and a lot of stuff coming out of China that looks pretty close if you're not careful, but I'm certain these are original. There are some other details worth noticing. You have the embossed Oakley logo up in the top of the frames, the embossed split shot right on the inside of the stems, and then here you're assembled in the USA logo. Now, keep in mind, Oakley used to always be made in the USA, but these days, well, unfortunately, you don't always get fully made in the USA, but these here being assembled in the USA. So like traditional Oakley, they are calling the frames the O-Matter frames. So they have names for all of their different materials. So that's the lightweight O-Matter frame material. The nose pad, well, that's your unobtainium. So that's another one of their sort of trademark names for their material. So the unobtainium nose piece. Again, your prism lenses. So your polarized prism lenses. And they're calling these HD polarized. Just to minimize glare, that is the nice thing about polarized lenses. If you're not familiar with them, it really does reduce glare. And in this case, really helps you look deep into the water. So these are the deep water polarized. And that was what caught my attention. I've been doing a bunch of fishing lately with my son and it's nice when you can see through the water, cut through the glare and kind of identify if there's fish below. And the guy that was wearing these said for fishing, they were fantastic. So that's why I wanted to give these a try. And these lenses are plastic, but again, Oakley calling them Plutonite. So these are not again, you know, standard plastic, they're Plutonite lenses. But I can definitely say that the lenses on Oakley are fantastic. I've come to greatly enjoy them on all models. I do think they're great. The only thing worth considering when you get into some of the glass models, I have had some issues with the coatings. Now your polarized coating, I believe is on the inside and sometimes it will flake or wear away. And I have long eyelashes. So if you take a look here back at my Trigger Man, they've held up pretty well. On the inside corners, they're a little bit greasy, but at the same time, all the coatings on the inside of these lenses have held up very well. And last but not least, you do get the leash. So here, the leash, I could take it or leave it. It's cool that it's on here and especially using these for the mountains. Sometimes you get into areas that are darker in the, you know, sort of the tree cover and you just don't want glasses on your face. So to be able to stretch these out and sort of hang them over my neck is going to be great. But the other thing is sometimes they do fog up. There's no avoiding that. So if you're in a situation where they fog up, you generally just need to get them off your face for a few seconds and by leveraging the leash that can certainly help out. Now, as you take a look at how this leash is tucked in here, these typically sort of, yep, there you go. So the leash just hangs on this little tab on the inside here. It's pretty simple and fairly straightforward. And then closing the little door, that is quite simple. So everything about these nicely crafted. I definitely enjoy them. They can be uh, prescription ready. So you could definitely get a prescription if you want. But again, the key for me being that prism polarized deep water lens. And so now getting all the tags removed and the little stickers, just a nice little touch up. That is the final thing. So this particular pair that I got did come with the cleaning cloth. Sometimes you'll see them coming with cases. Uh, I don't know, I did not buy this direct from Oakley and I'm not certain if you do buy these direct from Oakley, if they come with just a cleaning cloth 
or the case as well. But for what I paid for these, I am more than happy with just the cleaning cloth. And I can tell you, I have plenty of Oakley cases kicking around. So at this point, I am good to go to put these into good quality field use. The clarity on these, fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. A little bit more ruby colored maybe, just a touch. These are more of a neutral gray. These have a slight hue and tint to them, but I do like it, no problem. It's gonna be great, sort of a medium tint. Not insanely dark, but dark enough that it's really gonna cut down on the overall sort of solar effect that I have, that, that glare and the bright sun, and especially in the mountains and on the water, these are gonna be fantastic. So moving forward, I mean, you might be watching my channel instead of me looking like this, which you've come to know, I'll probably look a little more like this. Similar, yet different nonetheless. And so, all right, guys, with that, a look at the split shot from Oakley, my new pair of glasses. Time to get these to some good quality field use. And if you like this content, do me a favor, Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, my channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there, so if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.